they're not new. We just haven't seen these bugs in a while. Yeah, well, tonight we kick off this week's cicada coverage with the history be behind the noisy insects. Doppler 10 meteorologist Ross Caruso has the lesson. For the past 17 years, the brood X cicadas have been living right beneath our feet, waiting for the right time and temperature to emerge. This brings up the question, why every 17 years? It has to do with the last glaciation and how the cicadas moved back into the areas that were being vacated by the glaciers as they retreated. And at that point in time, in theory, the habitat was sort of marginal. Dr. Yeniga is a senior museum scientist at the University of California, Riverside, and he said these types of cicadas can figure out the seasons based on the tree roots that they are latched onto underground. Trees aren't acting the same way. The roots aren't functioning the same way during the winter as they are during the spring and the summer. So there are things that they could clue into that would tell them that a year has passed. He also said it's still a biological mystery given how these cicadas have a fixed life cycle. It's clearly something that's in their physiology that's got a timer function. It's a difficult thing for scientists to get at and it's a bit of a puzzle. Something that's not a puzzle for scientists is knowing when and where these broods will emerge. If the habitat hasn't changed in those 17 years, then you should expect pretty much the same things happening in those areas. Many of us can recall back to 2004 during the last Brood X emergence, which unfolded during the Memorial Tournament. Typically, rain is the biggest problem for golfers, but the thousands of cicadas buzzing around the tournament proved to be a distraction for those playing and watching. And as Dr. Yeniga said, the cicadas feed off the roots of trees, and if those trees from 17 years ago are still around, so are the cicadas.